Welcome to Valvoline Tech. I'm your host Benny and today we're talking about maintaining DPF efficiency by selecting the correct engine oil. In most late model diesels, including this Triton behind me, the OEM or the manufacturer installs a DPF in the exhaust system, generally quite close to the engine itself. The DPF actually filters diesel particulate out of the exhaust system to uh, maintain air quality in cities in, and in stop start driving. Now I've seen a lot of questions online about how the DPF filter actually works and the, basically the key to the filter itself is a honeycomb element inside of the casing. That honeycomb actually traps the diesel particulate matter. The one thing to keep in mind though, however, is, is a diesel particulate filter isn't manually cleaned or serviced typically by a mechanic, and it's actually cleaned uh, by a process of burn off. And there's actually two ways it can burn off. It can do a passive burn off or a passive regeneration when the vehicle meets a certain set of requirements where it's driving typically on a highway where the DPF temperature is correct, it will passively burn itself out. Secondly, the ECU can enable an active regeneration of the DPF by richening the fuel mixture, which in turn raises the temperature in the DPF, allowing a full clean and burn of the DPF. Now, while we've explored the functionality of the DPF, we haven't really talked about what it's actually collecting. So among the diesel particulates in the DPF, we've also got metallic compounds called SAPS. SAPS is an acronym that refers to a chemical compound made up of sulfated ash, phosphorus, and sulfur. And this can vary in three ranges from low, mid to full. And this varies in concentration by application, either from the OE or from the oil manufacturer. Additives such as SAPS will help to protect and maintain vital componentry of your engine. However, high or full concentration SAPS oils may restrict or block the DPF filter. As a result of this, Valvoline have blended low and mid SAPS oils to help combat this particular issue. It's crucial to run a low or mid SAPS engine oil in your DPF equipped diesel vehicle. Failure to do so may result in a blocked DPF, poor fuel economy, low engine power, turbocharger failure, or even engine failure in extreme cases. We hope this has answered your questions. To keep up to date with the latest, make sure you're following Valvoline's socials.